B stance, single leg, dumbbell, RDL, bilateral, big word. So here I'm using two dumbbells. You can get away with using a um, kettlebell. Um, you can hold the weight in one hand and just do one kettlebell, one dumbbell, or you can do two. It doesn't really matter too much. So being a B stance movement, how it works is the B stance leg is going to be doing 10 to 5% of the work, it's more there to assist with balance so that you can focus on the other leg. And then obviously the other leg is doing somewhat like, you know, 90 to 95% of the work. So how I determine my B stance, so feet hip width apart, and then my B stance leg is gonna come back and in line with the back of my heel of my planted leg. This is gonna look like that. I'm gonna slightly bend both knees and then just like a normal RDL, I'm gonna move through my hip, come down and up. One, two, one more, three. Once I've done one side, changing, so feet hip width apart, B stance leg comes back just behind the heel, slightly bending both knees and performing the movement. One, two. Some things you'll notice, if I'm working my right leg, my right hand is in a neutral position, left hand is overhand. This just makes it easier and more comfortable in the bottom position. Um, other than that, other things to keep in mind, we wanna make sure that our back is nice and flat when we're performing this exercise. So common mistakes you'll see is people sort of just flexing and extending through the back. Your torso should remain rigid and the movement should only occur literally through the pelvis. Besides that slight bend in both of your knees, the movement is only occurring through the hips, right? There's no flexion or extension through your spine. Um, your reference point as to how low you should go, essentially once your dumbbell or fist is at about mid shin or your torso is essentially horizontal with the ground, then that's your sort of cue to come back up and complete the movement. If done correctly, you should feel predominantly through your glute and hamstring, specifically of the leg that's planted, not the B stance leg. Um, and if you find that you're feeling it too much through the B stance leg, potentially the leg is too far back or too far forward. Again, it should just be just behind the heel of the planted leg. Um, if it's none of those things and you still feel it more so in the back leg, then you might just be giving it too much mental focus and shifting your weight towards it. Really imagine that that leg is only there for support, whereas the planted leg, in this case my right leg, is literally doing all the work, right? It's doing all the effort and all my weight is sitting on my planted leg. Other than that, focus on control, don't use momentum, and it should be pretty straightforward.